I don't know if I'm doing it well. I think it's harder than blowing the Schaefer. But you know the annoying sound of the bee. Nothing more annoying than a bee buzzing around your head. A real drake up. And the sting? Ouch. Many are allergic to the bee sting and it can at times be life-threatening. And I can think of no person in the world who wants a bee sting. And yet, this annoying bee is the unique creature that brings to us one of life's sweetest tasting foods, honey. Isn't it fascinating that the stinging bee also comes forth with the ultimate sweetness? It offers such a powerful message. We all have things in our lives that sting. We all go through times of pain, hurt, trauma and fear. It's an unfortunate part of reality. But the question we must ask is, can we make honey out of this? Can we turn lemons into lemonade? Can we allow the pain we go through to be launch pads for growth? Friends, ask yourself a simple question. Think of the most compassionate, genuine, down-to-earth, solid and successful people you know. I'd venture to say that they most probably went through deep pain in their own lives. And yet, it was that pain that developed their empathy, courage, and resilience. And that is the message of the bee. And it is for this reason we make honey such a central part of Rosh Hashanah coming up in just over a week. We dip the apple and the honey on this most important day to remind us that no matter what this new year brings, please God, it is good. But even if you must go through challenges, we will make honey from the annoying bee. Think of the past year. You've been through so much suffering, struggle, and sad events. And yet, look how strong we are. Look and see the depth and empathy that has grown within you. That's my cue to wish you all a happy and sweet new year. Shana Tova Mituka. May the force be with you. And on behalf of Rebetz and Eti, Mendel Yitzi Chayan Hinda, we wish you Shabbat Shalom. We love you.